Tesla's full self-driving beta version 9 has been out for about a week now and many have been asking when they can expect a wider rollout for everyone to gain access to the beta program, which currently has over 2,000 active members. The company also just recently quietly rolled out the long-awaited subscription model for the FSD capability. What does this mean for the existing Tesla owners and when can we expect the so-called FSD beta button to appear which would enable anyone to gain access to the beta program? These are the topics we'll be discussing in today's episode, but first let's get plugged in. Hi, welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. Wow, this is the second video I'm putting out this week talking about Tesla's full self-driving beta. And that's because there's just so much to talk about it. Plus, there's some new information that's coming out surrounding this topic. But before diving in, I want to say thank you to everyone taking action on my request to follow me on Twitter. I'm fully aware of the controversy surrounding Twitter and that many people have left the platform and are now joining Getter. To make sure we have the widest possible reach, you can now find me on Getter as well. The link will be in the description of this video, so go ahead and follow me there if you're not on Twitter anymore. Now let's move on to today's topic, but first check out this offer by Webull that is available for a few more days. You will get one free stock valued up to $300 for just opening a new account, and another free stock valued up to $2,000 with an initial deposit of just $5. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get your free stocks while you still can. Now let's continue with today's topic. So Tesla finally released the subscription model for the FSD. We knew this would happen at some point and it finally did though it was supposed to be out much sooner. But if you know Elon time, nothing ever seems to work according to his initial schedule. I personally don't mind it because I can understand the intricacies of the FSD software. It's better to be safe and take the extra time if needed because this isn't just another software. We're talking about putting self-driving cars on the road, cars that will eventually be driverless. It's not a minor task, especially when you're going about solving the problem using vision only. No radars or any other sensors, just cameras. Now there are plenty of vehicles out there that are already driverless such as Waymo, but you have to remember these vehicles can only operate within a limited geofenced area that is mapped to the smallest detail using LiDAR. Any change to the road such as construction and change in infrastructure will have to be mapped and updated for the vehicles to work reliably. Here's a great example of a Tesla navigating on the latest FSD Beta V9 taking a right turn to a closed road and then safely navigating around the barriers to continue its journey. While the subscription model for full self driving won't give you access to the beta, it does give you access to everything else. The subscription costs $199 a month and will include navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon, traffic light and stop sign control, and soon auto steer on city streets. The last one is currently only available in the FSD beta program that more than 2,000 people have access to. It's unclear when exactly the FSD beta button will appear for all Tesla owners, but according to Elon Musk, quote, wide beta may be with FSD revision 10, definitely with revision 11. A wider rollout means that all vehicles with the purchased FSD package will have a download beta button which will appear in the service section. Judging from how long it took to go from the initial beta release to the current beta version 9, which is about 9 months, if the next big update takes a similar amount of time, beta version 10 would be out somewhere around April 2022. But this of course is completely just speculation and it's possible to see major updates rolling out much sooner. Now let's talk more about the subscription. Tesla sent out a message to owners titled, quote, Introducing Full Self-Driving Capability Subscription. This will now give more people access to full self-driving capability to get the experience on a monthly subscription basis without the commitment of paying $10,000 up front. This is a great option for those looking to use FSD for instance on road trips only or to just get the experience before purchasing the full package. At its current price of $10,000, the break-even point for the subscription model will take 4 years and 2 months. For Tesla, a subscription option might 
reduce revenue and profitability on new sales, but simultaneously create a new recurring line of business with a possibility for even greater margins. We will see the impacts of the subscription option in Tesla's Q3 earnings report in October this year. So until then, this remains just speculation, but let's wait and see how this turns out. If the profit margins are high and the subscription option gains lots of popularity, I'm expecting it to impact Tesla's share price in a positive way. Now, if you've already paid for the enhanced autopilot package, which no longer is available, you will have to pay just $99 per month for the subscription. And finally, if you have an older vehicle that does not yet have hardware 3.0 installed, you will have to pay a one-time fee of $1,500 to get hardware 3.0 installed and then continue with the subscription by paying $199 per month. If you've already purchased the FSD package, my understanding is you automatically qualify for the hardware update without any additional fees. The best part about the subscription option is that you can cancel it at any time through the mobile app and get it back when you need it again. One thing that I just have to mention at this point is that it's completely possible that there will be additional hardware iterations as the FSC software improves. Whether or not you have to pay for any future hardware updates after already purchasing the FSD package for $10,000 remains unclear. However, chances are Tesla will include any future hardware upgrades for those with the FSD package. At least, I hope they do. Otherwise, they might have many unhappy owners in their hands. Though getting the Beta V9 out took longer than expected, and the same with the subscription model, they're finally here and I'm already seeing a lot of positive feedback. It's interesting that Tesla decided to push out the subscription option before the wider release of FSD beta, or the so-called FSD button. Getting more people on board with FSD might increase the chances of getting more people to join the FSD beta program once it's made available to more owners. The more people that take part in the beta program, the faster Tesla can collect more data and push out new updates, accelerating the entire process in making it safe, reliable, and finally ready for full level 5 autonomy. It's the corner cases and all kinds of weird things that people counter on the road that are currently holding it back from being 100% reliable. This will for sure take time, maybe much longer than anyone could have imagined. But will they actually get to full level 5 autonomy using just cameras? Well, only time will tell. But I really hope they do because the world really needs this kind of autonomy to exist to free us from the mundane task of driving every day to work and back, wasting our time behind the wheel when we could be doing something much more productive. But there is a chance that Tesla will increase the price of FSD once again when the FSD button becomes widely available. That's definitely something to look out for in case you're still considering purchasing the FSD package. But aside from that, what do you think of the $199 per month price tag? Is it too much or is it just okay? Will you get it for a month to test it out or maybe try it on your next road trip? Let me know in the comments below. And also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and now on Getter to stay up to date on EV Source posts and videos. Thank you for watching EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.